Hello guys, welcome to the installation of the Ubuntu Mate on the new Raspberry Pi 3 B+. So, don't try this on any other device and it's only for the new Raspberry Pi 3 B+. So, uh, let's get started. We need an SD card reader and also a class 10 memory card which is greater than or equal to 16 GB. And also, the Raspberry Pi 3 is the most important part of our story. So, uh, and I also need you to download a file. So I'll just be showing that right now. Hello guys, this is the file that I asked you to download. Open the file and drag the contents into the desktop. Yeah, there. And a WinRAR or a archive application should be there for extracting these files. So let this complete by the way. And I'll be leaving for a while. And yes, the task completed successfully. Now we need Win32 Disk Major. So we'll just go to take it. Yeah, open the application. Yes, that one. And we need administrator privileges. Click yes. Now we need to navigate to the OS file or Ubuntu made file from here. Yeah, it's in my desktop. We need to write it. Uh oh, yeah, I've got a fix for this. We need the SD card formatter for this. Yeah, we need to format our SD card. Click on yes, the SD card will be formatted. Wait a second. Yeah, click on OK, close it. Now again try to write it. Click on yes. Now we can see that it's successfully writing now. And now I just need to switch on to the camera view to show the next steps. So we just have all these finished now. So we'll just need to insert this memory card to our Raspberry Pi. So now we are going to switch on the monitor and also the Raspberry Pi. So please wait. We can see that it's resizing the root partition now. So we need to wait for some seconds. The next step after this will be the booting of the Raspberry Pi once more. So you can see that the kernel failed to load. That's not a problem. Our Ubuntu Mate will successfully boot. You can see now. The logo will be appearing. So this may take some while. The Raspberry Pi only has less processing power. After all this you may see a mouse pointer coming in a short while. That's the pointer. Now I'll tell you the next steps. So you may see this on your Pi. So you will just need to click on the language you choose. Then to continue. The Raspberry Pi almost have a slow processing power. So we need this. So we just need to connect to the network. Or sometimes not. So let's click on continue. Let's keep it going. Next, select where you are living at. Currently, I'm living in India. So, next. Then select the keyboard you prefer. Then to continue. So your name and other things is fair to say. Yes, choose your preferred settings and your name, etc. Your password and everything. And the password is a must. You need it. It's compulsory. Next to continue. Yeah, it's installing the system. This may take a while now, so I'm just closing this video. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to my channel and also like this video. Keep coming. Goodbye.